In today's video, I'll be trying all kinds of bugs and secrets in Brookhaven. We got bugged animations, secret IDs, and even a way to get premium for free. For our first bug, we need to open our inventory, grab the bed, as well as the ladder. What we need to do is go as high as we possibly can. With these, we can place the ladder right there, then get a bed on top of it. After lying down on it, we put the ladder above it. Now we have to try to get back into the ladder, even if it didn't work right now. All right, now we got it. Put a bed up here again. Do the same thing all over again. Doing it way better this time. Just look at how high up we already are. Not even the subs are where I am right now. If we keep going like that, we'll probably end up on the moon. Come on, Nando. You can do this again. We can do it. No, we lost it. I did it for a while longer, and just look at how far we already came. We're even higher than the trees. In a little bit, I'll probably be able to touch the clouds. I didn't even say, but I'm actually testing all of these with a bunch of my subs. And if you want to do just like them and participate in videos like this, then you should go follow my Roblox profile at NandoYT. Just click the three little dots and then the follow button that you'll be able to do just that as well as play some other games with me sometimes. Now our next bug is gonna need a house. It can be any of them. For this one to work, we'll also need to have premium in the game. Having that will let us click this button right here and activate the house's pool. Doing that will make it appear like this. This bug basically lets us lock people into our pool, but they do need to be underwater for it to work. All right, let's enjoy this opportunity opportunity and let's lock them up inside here just like that dude it actually worked just look at this guy stuck into it oh he was actually able to get out but if we go down here we'll see that we did get a bunch of players trapped down here awesome now we can throw a lot of people with this Next, we'll be needing two secret items, so let's use some IDs. First, we got this one, which actually gives us a third hand. Ain't that just so weird? You may even be able to scare some people. They may think you're a creepy three-armed guy. They don't even know it's just a little secret ID. To make it even stranger, we'll use this one. It'll even give us another hand. We don't have three anymore, but four arms. I'm not sure if I look like a superhero or a supervillain, but supernatural for sure. I think super weird would also be a way of putting it. This time, we'll be needing one of the motel's rooms. It's quite an old one. We just need to sit on the couch first. I'm almost getting weirded out by these arms. Now, we'll click on the house icon and then the delete home icon. As we do that, we'll now continue doing the sitting in the sofa animation, but we can just walk around. You can even have a look at how these rooms look when there's no one using them. As you can see, it's fully empty. Over here, someone just got one right where I am. Now, I'm stuck in the shower box. Okay, I got out. If we want to, we can also try to mix some animations into this. Like if we get one of the dances, it'll fuse a bit with the couch one and we'll dance a bit weird. What about this one? Dude, it's like we're dancing without even touching the ground. Look at this knocked out one. We look as if we're just sliding around the map. The one I'll show right now came with the newly added ocean. All we need to do is go to the edge of the map, then grab ourselves the ladder as well as the bed. Now we'll have to do that same old bug to make us go high into the sky. Dude, Dude, look at those arms just going out like that. We'll need to get around this high. After that, you jump over right here. You can now get on top of the invisible barrier at the edge of the map. A good idea is to open the game settings to use the click to move option. With it, we can just click and walk across the whole barrier without caring. For me at least, it's always fun to do. Seems like some of the subs are making their way up here too. Just be careful as if you walk just a bit to the side, you'll have a date with the void. I'm already used to it. Don't worry. Next up, will be going to Brookhaven's pool. At the diving board, you can already jump pretty high. But if we click on the animations and choose the hurt one, as we jump into it, we'll be thrown far higher than usual. If we jump back, it will be thrown even further. Just look at where I ended up. This bug also works if we go into our settings and click the reset character button. With that done, it'll make us fly high into the sky. It's a pretty old bug, but it's always fun to show. We can also do something else with the diving board. Just choose any vehicle you want and spawn it on top of it. Like this motorcycle. Whoa! Did you see it fly? It's next to the motel sign now. Come on, guys. Start spawning vehicles there and let's see what happens. Seems like they've already started. Oh, gosh. What was that? Where did that car even go? As I said, it's always fun to see stuff flying around. We're making a really big mess. Our next one will need another secret item. So we're gonna use this ID. Doing that will make us look a little bit bald. But the best part is that it also makes those fire particles appear around us. 
So if we go and grab ourselves a car, as we drive around with it, we'll actually look like we have premium in the game. So if you're curious on how to have free premium, you can do this and you'll actually look like you have premium in this game. Now let me show you that if we activate this fire setting we premium have, our car is gonna spew out even more fire. Just look at that. Let's put out all of that as we don't want this thing to blow up. Guys, I know you're trying to put out my hair, but that fire is fairly infinite. It's also pretty damn cool. Please don't ruin this for me. Now we'll be needing a motorcycle. Then we can go right into the hair salon. Here we go beside the hair wash bed. You just click the E key now. With that done, we'll go out the salon with our back broken. It looks even funnier if you delete your vehicle. Because we'll now walk around like that. As if it were normal. But if we go and use this ID, we'll get a bed and it'll seem like we're literally sleepwalking around the map. In this case, you may not even need a bed anymore. Since we can literally just sleep on the street pretty easily. Good night. For this we'll need a car, it can be any of them. In your inventory you'll get a hammer. Now click the lay down animation. Then start doing the hammering animation as well just like this. After that if we go into the driver's seat, it'll literally look like we're fixing our car. Or maybe even messing it up. The funniest part is that we can still drive around like that. It's a ghost car! I have to agree with that. There doesn't seem to be anyone driving it. This time we'll be needing a house. It has to be that military base. You can guess why we call it that. Let's go over to its indoor gym and grab some dumbbells to do some training. I'm gonna get ripped. Even the subs are joining up with me. Look at Mini Nando lifting all of that. The thing about this bug is that if we go into the house icon and delete this house, we'll continue holding those weights in our hands anyway. It doesn't only work with these dumbbells, but with that big 500 pound one too. Just look at our sub carrying it like it's nothing. You may even be able to call it a secret Brookhaven item, since this bug is the actual only way of getting it. I got a fun one for you. First we go into the vehicles and get the skateboard. For now there's nothing of note in here. But if we go and grab a hammer and use its third animation, our skate will literally bug into the ground with us. I'm not sure what this trick is called. We'll have to name it someday. The next bug is also pretty recent. I've even shown it before. All we need to do is grab a boat. I like this red one myself. Now you place it right beside the sand line. Then we need to get a horse in the driver's seat. Well, at least it should have worked. But I guess it does doesn't wonder right now. Even the subs are trying it out and it's not working. Did something happen? Maybe they patched it already or it's just bugged. But if we look at this video right here, after getting the horse in there it'll start bugging out the boat. Then we just needed to try to ride our horse. With it we'd teleport into town and be able to walk around the city in our boat. It's a pretty fun bug to have so try it out yourself and tell me if it still works or not. I really hope it does. I miss my land boat. In today's video, I'll be testing out some myths I've heard around about Brookhaven, just so we know if they're true or false. But before that, I challenge you to leave a like and subscribe to the channel within three seconds. I'm gonna count you down. Three, two, one. How was it? If you did it, write easy in the comment below. For our first myth, we'll need just any house in the game. It basically says that a whole person can fit into one of these fridges. I never tried that out, so this can be pretty funny. I'll make myself small then. By my calculations, I should be able to get inside this thing. Let's open it up now and... Wait a minute! Finally! I escaped that frigid prison! What just happened? I don't know, but that does prove our myth. We can indeed fit someone inside one of these. Continuing with stuff around the house. This myth talks about these items that come with our home. Like the stove. It says that we can actually change that timer in which you can see it's in all zeros. Let's see if that's true. Oh, they disappeared. I'll just write anything. Like 666. Whoa, it actually works. It looks like it just stays right there. But that's a true one. Confirmed. Let me just try something else. Like a name. Oh, I guess it just leaves the words right there anyway. That's actually pretty cool. I actually didn't know anything about this one. For the next one, we'll need a car. I just got this one. It can be any car. Don't worry. We'll have to go to the gas station. Good old Rotten Robbie's. I'll just park it right there. I don't know if you guys knew that, but we can actually fill our gas tank. If we just click right there, it'll fill it up for us. But the myth says that we are able to pay for the car's gas. Normally players just fill it up and go again. 
So that's a little concerning. So let's test that out. Apparently it should work with both these cards. It filled up. So we just need to click with it right there. Whoa! It actually worked. Look at the little money particles. This is so cool. I love these kinds of things. Now we're gonna need a house. In this case, it needs to be this one that was added some updates ago. Wait a minute. What's happening here? Is that Ban Ban just walking around? By the way, we have already made a video about how to turn into characters from Garden of Ban Ban. So check that out. But anyways, let's check this myth out. We basically need to go towards this secret passage. As we click it, it'll open to a staircase. Here we have a little med bay kind of place. But that's not what we're here for. What we need is the laboratory. You must be saying this is just a regular old lab. There's nothing in here. That's where you're wrong, buddy. There is a secret in here. And I'm not even talking about the human-shaped bones in here. I'm even gonna get away from it. For this one, we'll need to make ourselves small. Dude, what's this cop doing in here? Is he just chasing me? I just know that this secret is somewhere close to these stairs. We're supposed to be able to get inside this thing. Time for the sack trick. I'll also crawl to the ground as we want to go into the stairs. This is an awesome method I recently discovered if you ever want to get underneath something. As normal, just crawl and switch the sack on and off your hand until you're into it. But this is the secret room I was talking about. It even has paper on the ground. This one seems to be written by a certain Madison. And this isn't well known as it is one of the newer houses that has it. Let me just get out of here. Oh, there was an easier way into it just by this wall. But that one's true. We indeed have this weird little secret in here. For our next secret, we need to go to this house. This is a very newly added house. It was just in the newest update. And for it, we'll need a shovel. The myth says that for us to get into its secret place, we need to dig it seven times. Well, let's try it. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, and seven. Wait, so it isn't gonna work? Oh, maybe it's because we're small. Let's try that out again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, am I not gonna get into it? I guess it doesn't work. Oh gosh, it's the sheriff. Good evening. Good evening to you too. Now what do you want? I'm just trying to dig something in my very own house. I hope he isn't trying to arrest me. Oh, I guess he didn't find anything suspicious. Let's continue on our hunt. We for sure can get into this safe, but it's more about location than how many times. So this one is false for sure. Apparently we have a way to fly in Brookhaven. And it looks like we'll be in need of one of these billboards. This one is weird. But I'm very interested in seeing if it works. For us to fly, we need to change what's written in it. In this case, we need to write semicolon fly. Which is the fly command in Roblox. Okay, we did it. Now that we have that, let's try it out. Well, it for sure didn't work. Guess that's another fake. But let me know if I did anything wrong. Looks like our next one is also about flying. I'm actually really excited about this one. For it will need our cute little horsey. We're gonna need to go to the chat and write AFK. With that, we'll get into this animation which is one of Brookhaven's secret commands. That's where our horse comes in. We just have to click to ride it, and we'll basically start flying around, as if we were riding an invisible horse of sorts, which is really cool. Why is this guy following me? Come to the party at 9 Saturday night. Invite more people. It's gonna be at Yacht on the beach. Well, of course I'll go to your party. Don't have to worry. I'm excited for it. Thank you. You're welcome. But anyways, this one is true. It's fun to just float around and be pretty quick about it too. Our next myth requires a house. We'll need this exact premium house right here. While it loads, why don't you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel? It helps me out a ton. The myth says that we are actually able to demolish this house since it is pretty crooked and everything. I'm actually really excited to discover if that's true. Well, let's see. For that one, we'll need to go to the house settings. And we'll have to activate the earthquake. With that, I'm sure you know what's gonna happen. Anytime now. Where is it? There we go. It's working. Look at all those particles falling. Oh, it stopped. I thought it was gonna keep going. But the house still stands tall. So this should be another false one. That's probably not possible. Next up, we'll still use this house. 
Let me just wash my hands real quick. As we do that, we'll try to teleport into someone's home as the myth says that we can bud this animation. Let's see. Look at us all bud like that. Apparently, we're washing our hands in the air. And I still can move. So this one's confirmed. We can for sure do that. Now we're gonna have to go to this post-apocalyptic shelter again. You can see that we got that garbage can fire going. The myth says that it can actually light us on fire if we are on top of it. So that's what we'll be testing right now. Is it fake fire or real fire? Let's jump onto it. Well, we're good for now, but let's give it some time. <laughs> I gave it some time and nothing happened. So here we have another falsehood. This is just some decorative fire for the ambience. Now we gotta go to the beach, also known as Lake Madison. Here we are. Wait a minute. Is that a party? And I wasn't invited. Why did they do that? I'll go to it in a little bit. Let's just do this thing. The myth says that we can actually open this white box on the beach. Most players know that this thing has always been here in this place. Even with that, not even I tried to open it. Let me just try to open this thing up. Whoa! There's a Coke and a sandwich. Now I can practically enjoy a very simple picnic. Wait, does the campfire light me on fire? It looks like another decoration again. Anyways, this one is confirmed. Good to know that we can open that thing. Let's just take a look at this party that I wasn't invited to. I'll even bring my horse with me. I don't care. Is it just a birthday party? Well, all I know is that it's boring. I'll go somewhere else. Next up, we need to go to the hospital. Let me just leave my horsey right there. Stay there, big man. For this secret, we need to go to the x-ray room. Everyone knows that we can actually take an x-ray of ourselves in the game. This one is probably from someone who recently used it. But here's the thing. The myth says that the x-ray looks really damn weird if we are holding a baby in our hands. Let's see if that's true or is it just gonna be the same. I'll get in there with our little guy. Now we just wait for them to take our x-ray. Let's hope this one works. That can look pretty interesting with the baby there. Okay, let's check it out. Dude, nothing changed. This is another false one. I thought this one would work. Now we're gonna go to the second floor of the hospital, which is a kind of secret place with tons of secrets and bizarre things around. This place is all dirty and run down. It creeps me out. Anyways, we need to go to this room. Then we click this agency paper on the ground. It has to do this fire animation just like right now. And after that, the myth says that if we sit on this chair, a secret code will appear. The experimental will just be gone and we'll have the secret code in its place. Let's sit here then. Whoa, it actually works. Look at all these numbers and letters. Where should we use it? I don't know, but this one is confirmed. We also have another thing to do with this paper. Apparently a new item will appear in town. Right here at the library. Looks pretty normal, right? Well, the myth says that we can find a secret book right over here. Whoa, it's actually here. Well, that's an easy confirm for this one. That's pretty cool. Now, still connected to this one, we'll go to the motel. Apparently if we go and buy one now, it'll be all run down and haunted. It has something to do with this book. Maybe it's cursed or something. Well, let's see if that holds any ground. How does it look? Oh, look at this place. Looks like that was correct. Look at this place. I don't think all this dirt is normal. There's tons of stuff just scattered around. Even the bathroom. They didn't even clean the toilet. Well, that's a true one if I've ever seen it. Apparently, another one is about something that will be written in the back of this chair. So let's look and see. Wait, there's actually something in here. Look at all those things written in there. I'm not gonna talk about it much, but you can pause and read. Wow, another true one. These things Things are really cool. Still in this same place. We gotta go and grab this black book that's on the floor. We can just grab. It also changes color in our hand. But this book is very important. As we get this, we'll be able to click on this picture frame. Let's do that. Oh, the sound. So it must have worked. You did hear that, right? So this one is also confirmed. Myth true. Let's get our humble steed and go towards the museum as there is some myth busting to be done there. I'll just get into it. Horsey will be right up here. Don't really care if they let me or not. So guys, with this book, we're able to summon a ghost in Brookhaven. Yes, 
I was shocked as well. It looks like we just have to use the book in this empty display right here. We'll hear a weird sound and this red orb will appear. As that is happening, we'll see this flickering ghost right there. He's even holding the same book we are. So this one for sure works. Oh, even the words on the pictures appear. Greed and then fear right there. As the ghosts disappeared, everything will get back to normal. Even the hashtags get back to hide it. So yes, another true one for us today. This one is pretty awesome. I am sure that you've heard about tons of secrets around Brookhaven. And that's no lie. There's tons of things hidden around this town. So that's why in today's video I'll be testing out some secrets about Brookhaven so we finally know if they are really true or are just false. But before any of that, I got a challenge for you. I dare you to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel in these next three seconds. Three, two, one. If you are able to do it, write potato in the comments below that I'll try to send you a little heart before we start debunking all these myths. I think we should have a change of clothes. This doesn't match the myth debunker that I am. Let's go to the clothing store and get some detective clothes. Since I am the best Brookhaven detective, with all the myths and secrets I've discovered. Nice! Now I'm perfect for myth debunking. Let's ride Sugarfoot right into our first myth. For this one, we gotta go straight to the town hall. Stay here, Sugarfoot. I'll call if I need you. So basically, this myth says that we can summon a ghost in town hall? Well, that's what we'll see. And for that, I'll grab the flashlight. Also, this EMP reader kind of thing. This thing detects ghosts, so that's how we'll discover if there's anything in here. There's lots of rooms in here for driver's licenses, water and power, for payments, and on the other side, we actually have paranormal activity. So let's see what we find here. You can see an EMP reader here too. There's something written on this whiteboard. Disturbance reported in the janitor room at 628. Three eyewitnesses reported. Wait a gosh darn minute. So there's some paranormal shenanigans going on at the school. But before any of that, I want to test this one out. Because it would be awesome to just summon a ghost in here. For that, we'll need to click this thing right here. Which I'm not sure what it is. It should summon the ghost as soon as we click it. Yo, what is that? Why is there smoke in there? Look at how the EMP reader is beeping. Damn, well it wasn't really a ghost by what we could see. So this one has to go to fall sadly. I guess our next myth will be to follow these guidelines then. So let's try to be in the janitor room from the school at 628. Damn, we couldn't make it in time. But let's actually hope that something happens there. But we're already at the school. Let's leave Sugarfoot in here and go into the janitor's room. Well, my EMP reader is not picking up anything at the moment. Nothing at this desk. Neither on the bunk bed. There's nothing off for now. It's not beeping at all. For now, it looks like this one is false. We can't find anything paranormal in here. It may be past the time it shows up, but that's what we have for now. Now we need to go to the motel. This one talks about flooding Brookhaven. Wait, is someone here? Oh yeah, look at her whole pink room. Dude, right in my face. I was kind of peeping. That's fair. Apparently for this one, we need exactly apartment number four. Hold on. Why do you have a gun? What did I even do? Hey, calm down. I'm chill. You don't have to shoot. Why are you doing that? Wait, she's a cop? Just leave me alone. I just want to do my myth busting. I'll even lock this up. Now I want to see you get in. Oh, you're at the window? Let me do just like you did to me. There we go. Peace and quiet. Let's get back to it. This myth says that first we need to use this computer. Then we need to keep changing the screen a bunch of times. And after that the game should be flooded? Let's have a look then. Well, there's nothing different at all. So this one is extremely false. I don't even get this one. Girl, what do you want? She's chasing me around for no reason. I'll just go through the subway to get away from her. Let's just choose some other place. Okay, so we should be at the light station. Nice! Hello, Lake Madison! For our next secret, we'll need a house. So let's get this lake one. We need this exact one right here. I think most people know that this is a fairly recent house. This myth tells of a secret passage where you can hide in here. It's kind of like those fake walls for you to hide in. It's supposedly in the kitchen. We should be able to jump on top of the fridge and hide ourselves right here. Damn, this is an incredible hiding space. 
It also looks like there's another one over here at the fireplace. I'll even light it up. So, it should have another place like that on top of this. And those are actually here. This one's true. Now we'll be seeing another one that is still related to this place. But this time we need to go downstairs. So apparently, if we can throw a basketball inside the hoop, the ball will disappear. Well, let's see how it goes. I missed. Okay, nice. Now I got it. Wait, where is it? Oh, it disappeared. Well, but if I throw it normally, doesn't it do that too? Yeah, it does. This one is just weird. I guess this is false. Since it doesn't just happen in that scenario. I don't even know who thought of this. Is someone at my door? Oh, hey. Hello. I'm in the middle of myth discovery. What do you want? I'm looking for friends. Sadly, I couldn't help her. I gotta continue our video on this yacht. So this one says that there's a false floor inside this thing. By the way, have you seen this kitchen right here? Let's get back on track. There's one place in this yacht where we can find this secret passage. We need to go to the side of it. Apparently, there should be a false floor that we can go through. Wait, is this it? Look at that. We're in the walls. We can literally see everything on the inside. The kitchen. The hidden place next to the bathroom. But the strangest thing is right in front of it. Over here is written Wolfpack was here. For those that don't know... He is the creator of Brookhaven. It's fun to have a little Easter egg with his name on it, but many players have yet to see it. But this one is confirmed, and very cool at that. Now, how am I getting out of here? Oh, that was actually easy. The next myth we'll be taking a look at is kind of funny, and it's also good for trolling other players. For this, we'll need to go to our inventory and get the bed as well as the ladder. Now we need to place the ladder, and on top of it, we'll put the bed. And if we take the ladder out, we'll literally be able to sleep in the air. Everyone will be so confused. They may even think you're a hacker. But this one is pretty funny, right? Look at the player down here. They must be so confused right now. Chilling levels like this are for a few. But that's a true one, for sure. Now for our next challenger. We'll need a bike from our inventory. And according to it, we should be able to fly with this thing. At the moment, you can see that we are only able to jump with it. Still no flying to be seen. For this to work, we need to climb up the the highest peak in all of Brookhaven. Now we just need to get to this drone. Then we should go up to it, and there we go. We are now literally flying while on the bike. It isn't the bike that's letting us fly, but I'll consider this one true, since it did work. Where we need to go now is the second floor of the hospital. Here you'll find this broken window. That's our entrance. For those that haven't been here, this place is pretty bizarre. There's even a hole that lets you get back to the hospital proper. I even fell down to it. Let me just get back up. You can clearly see how bizarre this place is. So this myth says that we are able to change what's written in the sign right here. For now, I'm sitting down here and it's written experimental. And apparently it'll show a secret code in its place. For it to work, we need to get into this room and click this agency paper. It'll make a little fire animation. Now if we sit on it, the code will show up. Just like that. Look at this secret code. I'm still not sure how to use it, but whenever I find out, I'll post about it. So stay tuned. While I'm on that, go leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps us out a ton. The one we'll test now has to be done after we do the little agency paper fire thingy. Now we need to go over here to the library. And inside this place it seems pretty normal but that's where you're wrong because if we go and jump to this side of this place we'll actually find a hidden book this is the actual only way to get this item you can find ones like this orange book but it's completely different from this red one did she get the book as well stop trying to steal my video ideas but anyways that's a true one for sure sugarfoot will take us back to the motel for our next one this one's requirements is the actual red book let's leave our boy right there and and get ourselves an apartment. Oh, that girl is still there. The one that tried to shoot me. You do remember me, huh? You're lucky that there's no safes in this motel. Oh, she closed the curtains on me again. She really doesn't like me. Let's just get a room beside her and you'll see the difference. Dude, get away with that gun. Leave me alone. This girl must just like to annoy me. Is she still coming? Okay, looks like the coast is clear. So, just look at how this room is all dirty. With everything thrown around, it's in a pretty bad shape. The frames are all crooked and not even touching on how dirty this bathroom is. 
towels are on the floor. Someone clawed the toilet. So that's a true secret. This one is confirmed. For the next secret, we need to sit in this exact chair. And if we go and turn our camera behind it, we'll see some text written on the chair. You can pause to read it, but it's a pretty weird message that only a few players know of its existence. But still a true secret for all that I'm concerned. Then the next one is about this frame on the wall that we can't click right now. We're gonna do something that activates a button right on that frame. I just need to sit on this chair and grab this black book that's under the table. As we get it, it just changes color randomly. But if we go to that same frame again, we'll actually be able to click on it. As I click on it, that weird sound will play. So that's another true secret. It works! We actually have another one in here still. A secret button that no one knows about. For that we have to get on top of this nightstand. Now if we turn the camera to behind it, we'll see that we can actually click on a button that's there. As we do it will start glowing. So that's another true one. There's so many secrets in this place. By the way, I had to do all of these in order. If you don't do it like that, to my knowledge, they won't work. Awesome. So now we gotta go somewhere else. Oh, that's your little golf cart? Well, it's mine now. Thank you, goodbye. So the next myth we're looking for has to do with something that the button unlocked for us. We need to go right here to Rotten Robbie, where we'll find that secret passage in the mountain. We can't get it with the cart, so I'll leave it there. You guys can see that this is some sort of agency laboratory. It seems to be pretty old or dirty because of these walls. There's a bunch of buttons and weird stuff in here. And there's even that power on display. But we don't care about this part. But this side place right here. Basically what that button did is something very weird. All of these boxes weren't here before we clicked it. What we need to do is to break them all. And for that we'll actually need a hammer. With it in hand we'll need to keep hammering this place until they all disappear. There goes one. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one bites the dust. And that's the last one we need. Then a whole portal will appear for a little bit. It will actually just disappear like that. Because it actually created another portal somewhere else. But we can already conclude that this one's true as heck. That was a cool secret. Good golly. Is this an earthquake? Did I have something to do with it? Oh, that was a magnitude 4.1 near Lake Madison. What even was that? By the way, that's literally where our house is. We'll check on it later. Now we need to go to that mountain where we'll find a secret entrance. This weird thing right here. You may think there's nothing, but there's a whole portal in here. This looks to be some sort of otherworldly dimensional portal. Of course the agency has something to do with it, but there's also this button that we can press, but doesn't do anything. There's also these yellow trails on the ground. That if we touch it makes a weird sound and clogs our vision. This place is so weird. Sadly, this portal doesn't take us anywhere. It's like if it was a vertical pool, we can literally just swim in it. But if I ever find out more about this, you'll see it in another video. Still a confirmed secret though. This is still a pretty cool looking secret. Now the next one takes us right to the police station. This one I've shown on the channel some time ago, but lots of people haven't seen it yet. So let me show you. Before that, know that we can actually put our picture in here so we are put as fugitives in the station. We can even input a name. I'll put Nando right here. And in the other one, it'll be Little Nando. It's funny to see just two of me as a Brookhaven fugitive. It's pretty weird. So this one tells of a hidden card that we can find in this place. For this one, we actually need to get into either of these cells. You must be asking, oh, where's that secret passage? Guys, at least most people know that there's a vent you can access if you go on top of the bunk bed. We just need to jump and we are in the ventilation shaft right away. Here's the vent for the other cell, by the way. Just so you know, it doesn't matter which, you can just pick one. Now if we try to go into this wall, we'll find a secret entrance. And after a corridor, we'll find a secret room with some files of an FBI agent. There's this weird white stick, but that's not what we're here for. For. What's important is this cabinet because behind it there's a blue card that we can pick up. Now for those that don't know how to use this card, I'll show you right now. First we gotta get out of this place. Now we get on Sugarfoot to start our journey. We need to go towards Lake Madison. Some people know it as the beach. So we'll be going around the lake in the direction of the cabin. We're going to Brookhaven Electric. You can find it next to these solar panels. 
But what we're looking for is this shack beside them. So basically, this card lets us go into this place. It is the only actual way into this place. It's pretty secret. Now we need to click this screen where it'll prompt us to input a password. The password is actually your in-game nickname. In my case, it's Nando YT. Whenever you input that it will actually say password approved. I'm still not sure if doing that does anything. But if I ever find out, I'll show it on the channel. But this one is fully true. And one that you have to work for. And let me know if any of you guys knew about this one. In today's video, we'll be testing out the most viral Brookhaven TikToks inside of Roblox. And among them, we'll discover how Brookhaven would look underwater. On this video, we're shown a way for us to make Brookhaven be fully underwater. He even shows how hard it is to play it like that. But if you're a longtime Brookhaven player, you'll know that that's a myth. You can't do that in the game. But if we use this private server control, it's gonna start raining until the town begins to flood. And here's how it looks. The water goes up to our legs. But that's not exactly what we're looking for. This video is gonna show us how to play Underwater Brookhaven. She's looking at some games. This one in particular, Brookhaven RP Under the Water. Then there's just some screenshots of them swimming around, which looks kind of fun. This should be the one they're talking about. Brookhaven, but it's underwater. We just logged in. It looks like Brookhaven, and we seem to be underwater too. Oh gosh! What's going on beside me? Is this just a shark eating another shark? Oh no! One of them got me! Alright, let's swim quickly so they don't catch me! Whoa! There's so many fishes in this game! Let's go up here! And damn, this is cool! From this pier we have a wider view, so now you can see just how flooded this place is! And there seems to be some boats down here? Does it even work? Let's try it out! Well, I'm trying to go forward, but it isn't letting me! I guess this one's a bust! I'll leave it at that. We'll just swim. What's up, my fish friends? You guys are all so cute. I'm not sure why, but the spawn is infested with fish. And there's also this very weird red particle. There's also this giant shark that seems to be quite a bit bugged. Oh, he damaged me. Maybe a little bit too much. Let's keep distance from that guy. He's really dangerous. Wait, is that SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward's house? Am I in Bikini Bottom? This for sure is weird. But can we go into it? Well, I'm trying my best. But I think it's just decoration. We can't go inside of it. Looks like we have some SpongeBob morphs in here too. And if we click one of these, well, we should have turned into one of these characters. But none of them seem to work. There's this boat car in here. Can we drive it? Whoa! We can! That's so cool! I'm using SpongeBob's car in the middle of the ocean. I love that. Get out the way, fishies! I'm coming through. Damn! That shark is getting buggier by the second. Looks like we got some sharks on the way. I'm I'm gonna crash into them. Take that! Oh gosh! Stop biting me, you creep! I thought they were gonna chase me. But they're just out there kissing. I'll just sneak by you guys then. Don't mind me. Here's one of those boats. And there's where Lake Madison once stood. It's all underwater now. Even the yacht sank. Whoa! Why is my boat driving by itself? Actually, let's leave it there. Let me see if we can pilot the yacht. We just need to go right here. I guess we can pilot it. But now it's a bit sunken. Sadly, it's not today when we're gonna pilot a yacht in Brookhaven. There's some very weird stuff up above. What is that? Let me climb up these stairs. Finally, we're up here. Damn! Just look at the view. Looks like we're on some sort of water slide. We even got some floaties that we can sit in so we can slide down this ramp. I think we just need to click this thing. Why isn't anything happening? Let me try it again. Dude! Why doesn't it go forward? I'll try this slide then. Let's see if this one works. Alright, we're almost there and... Well... It wasn't that exciting. Kind of boring. This video shows us how to do a wheelie in Brookhaven scooter. To start, it looks like we gotta get a house. In this case, that one is the trailer. After getting the house, we sit down in this bean bag. Then we click the kickback button at the same time that'll make us look all bugged like that. Now that we have that, all we need to do is grab the scooter. And that's exactly how they make wheelies inside of Brookhaven. So of course, we gotta test that now. First things first, we gotta get any of these lots. 
and buy ourselves a house. In this case, the mobile home. While it's still loading, I'm gonna have to ask you guys to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. It's worth it for this kind of content. Since it is already loaded, let's sit on that beanbag. Now we just click the kickback, and there we go. We look pretty damn weird. It's like we're walking while laying down. It's really strange. Why are there tons of cameramen inside my house? Who told you guys could come in? I didn't invite any of you, so take that ban. Hey, you two, get out of here. Whoa, that guy fell like a brick. <laughs> Anyways, now that we're looking buggy like this, it's time to grab the scooter. And yeah, it actually works. We're actually... Oh, I think I've unbugged myself. Let's try that again. And just look at that wheelie. This is such a fun bug. Please tell your friends and go do wheelies. It's so fun. Looks like this guy is trying to tell us how to go into the ground in Brookhaven. Wait, what does that mean? Looks like we gotta get very small. Then we need to get the sack and after that we use the crawl animation. And it looks like when he does that he can actually go into the ground in Brookhaven spawn. That's really cool. I logged into test it out. So let's shrink ourselves. Just look at how small I am now. Then we just need to grab the sack. With it in hand, we'll open the animation menu. Because we need to click crawl. When we do that, we just need to switch the sack on and off our hands. And that guy was indeed right. We're inside the ground at spawn. I still don't believe that it actually worked. I'm a bit curious to test it on something else. Can we go through buildings? We're on top of town hall as it will be our experiment. So let's do that on hand and off hand business and see if it works. Whoa! Wait! Are you kidding me? It actually worked! And if you didn't know, at Town Hall there's this hidden money printing machine. We just need to click this button and it'll start printing some money. That's how we turn into a millionaire fairly quickly. Let me get on top of this guy's roof right quick. We'll try it out over here too and see if it works. I hope it does. Apparently in that part of the roof it doesn't really work. What about on this ledge? Can we do it over here? I think we're getting some results but I'm now bugged into this thing. Literally just stuck into this house. So yeah, that's a pretty good bug to know. So if you didn't know about it before, hop into Brookhaven and try it out yourself. In this video, he's showing us how to make a blackout happen. Basically make all the lights go out. To start, we gotta be on a private server and then click the 3 a.m. button. All right. After that, we click that button right there. With that, Brookhaven gets so damn dark. Just look at that. So here we are inside my private server to test it. When you're on a private server, we have that gray button we can click. It basically basically shows us all these private server controls. So let's start by clicking the 3 a.m. one. And after that, we turn the darkness on. As we do that, whoa, our Brookhaven looks so dark. I basically can't see anything. I'm already lost. I'll even get a flashlight since this is both dark and terrifying. This one is quite a good prank you can pull on your friend to scare him. And if you don't know how a private server works and want to mess with settings like those, you'll have to pay about 100 Robux for one of those and it lasts for about a month. Every month after that, you'll also have to pay the 100 Robux so you can keep the server up and running. Now this TikTok is trying to teach us how to fly inside of Brookhaven. First, we need to shrink down and make this crawling animation. She's doing that fountain swimming thing and oh gosh, she's really bugged. Whoa, look at that. She actually did it. Well, she isn't flying that high, but she did do it. To start it off, we need to shrink ourselves once again. We gotta get as small as we can. Then we need to use the crawl animation. Dude! Just look at that. We bugged just like the girl in the video. Our head is fully into the ground. Theoretically, we should be able to fly just like that. Are you guys seeing this? We're actually flying right now. Sadly, we can't go that high up. Since if we do, we just fall to the ground. But that's quite a cool thing to be able to do at spawn. Everyone knows that Brookhaven is full of secrets, right? Recently, there was a new update that got us a lot more secrets inside of Brookhaven. So in this video, I'll be showing some secrets of this update out. Okay. So, what's happening here? There's a campfire and a tent. Is someone camping? This girl even asked who lives here. If you don't know it, neither do I. Let's just get a car. And let's go to Brookhaven's hotel. For those that don't know, Brookhaven released a hotel for players. But it actually looks like someone got here before me. Since it's gonna be like that, let me go and steal her safe. Just need to get the C4 ready. Oh, is it locked? That's not even a problem. If we just shrink our size to the littlest possible, with this box we'll be able to go inside this house. Now, 
The safe of this place is hidden right up here, if I'm not mistaken. There we go! Wait! Is this the owner of the house? Hello! I didn't come here to steal anything from you. We're just chilling. I just got a little bit of money, but please don't ban me. By the way, have you seen how this guy is almost exactly like me? It's so weird. It's like the Nando multiverse. Well, anyway, let's try and explode it. Holy moly! Yes, both the Nandos got banned in the end. Guys, only those that were banned from someone's house will like the video and subscribe to the channel with their pinky finger. Please comment hotel in the comments below if you do. Since we couldn't get that mansion, let's get the one on the other side of town. Cool! So let's buy this place. We're gonna get this exact last one. For those out of the update loop, this hotel was fairly recently added. There's even a nice fountain kind of like the one at Spawn. But what you don't know is that this hotel hides many secrets. To start off and show the first secret that you probably didn't know about this update. Actually, I'm almost sure you didn't. If you pass the check-in counter, you'll find a dining room and a little bar for some nice drinks. Here's where we'll find the first secret. Let's get inside and get on top of this. There is a secret entrance right here. Look at how much of a secret master I am. And if we continue forward, we'll go down a level. So we basically have this black floor part and right up here. Wait a minute. I can't get up anymore. Okay, so I think I'm stuck. This place is kind of confusing, but there's another secret beyond this. If we go down and look into these walls, there will be another secret passage. We just gotta find it now. Oh, I think I got it. I got out from another wall if you couldn't tell. Wait, is there music going on? Dude, there's two cars right in front of the hotel. What do you guys need? Your car is on fire, my dude. Be careful. I just asked this player if the black car is his. It looks like it was. That guy literally parked it so badly before. I'm gonna need to give him a parking ticket for the value of one million dollars, and he's gonna pay. If you're thinking that you can put this kind of junk in front of my hotel, you're dead wrong. Already asked for his money, and happily he complied. We all good then, man. You can park it right there. No harm, no foul. Let's get back into the hotel as we'll be looking at another secret. Already got your bag, man. Now you can go to your room. He even said thank you. What a nice guy. Now our next secret is right up here in these rooms. We just need to choose any random room. I'll just go with the emerald room. Each of these rooms has its own little secret. And for it, we'll need to go towards this wall next to this painting. You'd normally think that it's a really normal wall. Nothing interesting about it. But that's where you're wrong. If we go right here and jump up, we'll find this weird little place. This is just a little room. But it kind of gives me the vibe of the back rooms. I even got a flashlight. So, if we go towards the point of this triangle, we're actually going to be teleported somewhere else. Check this out. You saw that? If we jump back now, you'll see that we are now in another one of these rooms. We're literally in the pink room right now. Not at all at the green one anymore. If we go back to the secret room and try to use it again, we'll be teleported again. And as we get out, wait a minute. We're still in the pink room. Did it bug out? Let's just try this out again. What about now? Dude, why are we still in the same room? There's something weird going on. Oh, look, now it worked. We're now inside the blue room. And it looks like it's the room of the guy that I gave a parking ticket to. I'm sorry for invading your space, my guy. But anyway, let's get back into that secret room and let's go somewhere else. Where are we now? Pink room again. All right, that works. But now you guys know that there's a secret passage right there that most people don't know about. Just for that this video deserves a little like and subscribe. Wouldn't you say? We're already two hotel secrets down for the count. As a bonus, I'll be showing you guys where the safe of this place is located. Right in this elevator. But you have to go one floor up and then one floor down to be able to get into it. Now we're in the secret safe room of the hotel. Here's the place where you can grab every drop of this place's economy. But if it's mine... Don't you even dare do that. Now for us to get out, you just need to click the glowing button and we're done with that. Wait... Who is this person? What kind of style is this? Bro only got himself one hair strand. It's so weirdly funny. There is only one thing that I still didn't see in this Brookhaven hotel. Which is what is there on the ceiling of this place. 
since it's a place pretty hard to get to. But I'll show you guys that it's not that hard. To start off, we'll need our car. We've got a ride for a little. Oh, hey there, Sheriff. Good work there. I've got to make this car faster. It's so damn slow. Awesome. Now we're going fast as heck. Bonk! Oh, dang. We flipped it, and it's now spinning around. This is going too fast. It's making me dizzy. We're already at our destination at least, which is the police station. If we go up this ladder, we'll find the spawner for a nice little helicopter that we can use. And with this copter, we for sure can get on top of that tall hotel. Fasten your seatbelts. We're taking flight. Let's of course get the most speed we can in this thing. It's actually really close. So we're already here. Good gosh. The helicopter fell to the ground. Sorry for the guy that was riding it with me. Yes, he's done for. Now that we're right on top of this hotel, we can see that there is nothing up here. No apparent secret button or passage is found here at this very moment. At least now we know. Let's just go back down. These cars are just on fire in here. Good gosh. If you guys don't know, this latest update also added a new house. As well as the hotel, of course. Everyone's asking, where's the safe in this house? So for those that don't know, I'll be showing it now. This house is open, so don't mind if I do. Looks like there is actually no one here, so let's go up now. The safe is right behind this wall right here. But if you try to just get into it, you'll see that it doesn't work. Because for us to open it up, we have to click on this plant right on top of this table. Right as we click on it, we'll find the wall gone and the safe right there. And with that, we can easily steal from people's safes as we've done time and time again. Now I got all of their money. Good thing that no one is even here to ban me. Our next secret will interestingly be right at spawn. It's a fountain related one. It's actually right beneath this fountain. So now I'll be showing you guys how to get there. For that we'll have to go right down there. You can already see that there's some kind of blue light right there. Which by the way, was not in Brookhaven before. Now how are we going to go down there? That is the question. For us to do that we'll actually need an item. Which is this medical bed. And we'll need a player for it. Look, we almost did it. Okay. Let's try this out again. Dude, don't go away. Please help me out. Don't do that to me. Come back. Yes, we'll need a new victim. Oh, Naruto is here. Believe it. Now you'll help me out with this one. Dude, why is this so hard? I may be having some difficulties, but we have to do this. Is there any other way to get down there? Let's try something out. I'll grab a bed. Also, this shopping cart can help out too. Now we just gotta do something for us to bug into this place. Okay, new idea. I'll make myself as small as I can. Possibly, now's the time that it's gonna work. Wait, that guy actually did it. Please take me with you. I'm half an hour into it, and still no progress. We're almost there. Okay, he's there now and... Holy moly, we finally did it. So yeah, guys... For you to get down here, you'll need a friend and patience. Dude! Did you just spawn a whole truck down here? Anyway, we just have to walk through this secret passage and now we'll be under Brookhaven's fountain. But this isn't the best secret here. It's actually in another place. Over to this side, there's another wall we can walk through. But it's kind of hard to find. Found it! So, this is the other secret passage. Let me just get a flashlight. Now we can see everything clearly. You guys can see that there's a glowing green button right there. And what it does is it opens up another secret passage for us. As we pass through it, we'll see that we're at downtown station. One of the subway stations of Brookhaven. Ain't that cool? And no, you're not able to go back into it. Unless you go and click the subway's logo then this passage will open up to you again. I really like this stuff, but it's not a really bombastic kind of secret, but shortcuts are always welcome. Let's get back to the surface. Look at how that truck is down there. It's so jammed down there, even its tires are clipping inside. These Brookhaven players are really crazy. Let's just have a look at how the hotel is doing. Wait, who are you? Did I hire a cleaner without knowing by any chance? Yes, I got a free cleaning man. Let's go, dude. Sweep that floor up. Oh, look. It's the one hair person. Our janitor kind of looks like me. And that one doesn't look like nobody. Why is there a military man in here? My hotel is totally up to code. There's nothing to see here. Hey, dude. I'm looking for a room. 
Can we arrange that? Yes, I'll be getting a room in my own hotel. I said hi to them and told them that I wanted a room. They asked which would I want. I said that I wanted number 14. He said that there's only 11, 12, and 15. Room 14 is occupied. Dang! Just the one I wanted. Guess I'll go with room 15 then. Now give me the key right now. Right now. I guess I gotta follow them. Then let's go up. They're now taking me to my room. Wait, is this it? I love this one. Thank you very much. I guess they sold a room to the hotel's owner. It's alright though. This room is so gosh darn pretty. Look at how lovely this bathroom is. I'm just gonna chill in my bathtub for a bit. Get out of my bed, dude. Are you trying to sleep in my bed? This is only mine. I didn't actually like this room that much. I'm just going away. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, look. A newly bought house. Time for stealing. Excuse me, miss. I know this is your house, but I'll take it for a little moment. I think we can actually use the sack to get into the safe's room. It actually works. Funny enough. I didn't know that. Let's just do as we do. And get that moolah for us. Take that. All your money is mine now. You made me rich. Oh, <coughs> she banned me. Well, no surprise there. People ban me for the slightest stuff. Another cool thing about Brookhaven that you probably haven't seen is about this fountain. This is the hotel fountain, as you can see. But if we go to spawn, you can see just how different both these fountains are. Want to know another place with a fountain that you didn't know? Weirdly, it's right here in these apartments. Possibly you didn't know about it. But you will now. Let's get up here and buy an apartment. Cool. Now that we got one of these, you can clearly see that the fountain in here is the exact same one from the hotel. It's a very niche detail to remember. Dude, this apartment is so pretty. And you probably don't know where the safe of this place is, right? It's okay. Most people don't get this apartment. Its passage is right up against this bookshelf. You just have to click it and you'll find a little corridor to your safe. Let's just blow it up and steal my own money just for funsies. So that's practically what I have to show you guys today. In this video, I'll be testing various myths around Brookhaven so we can finally discover if they are true or false. Our first myth is that we are able to put nitro in Brookhaven's cars. So, this is this car's regular speed which most cars have in the game. Not really fast at all. But if we go to this menu and put the speed up to 200, well, it can go faster. It goes fast. For sure. But I'm now gonna show you just how fast we can go. Let's get my car back up. There we go. Now if we take a better look at that menu. We can see we now have turbo in Brookhaven. If we click it we'll be adding turbo stage 1. It adds this little turbine that for now goes on the wrong side. This is what makes our car go much faster. This is with the car's normal speed. Look at how much fast it goes. Oh gosh. It even flipped. Wow. The car even ended up on its hind wheels. Now we'll test turbo stage 2. Our turbine now is blue. Ain't that cool? Let's look at how it goes. The car is at its regular speed. As you can see, we didn't put it on 200. And the car feels so much faster. I'm even gonna crash into them. Take that. Oops. It flipped. Now it is time for turbo stage 3. This is the last stage of our turbo. And now our turbine turned to red. And it's even darker. It looks so much stronger than its last stages. Let me just change its color a bit. And we'll test this out. Just look at this. Holy moly, this is too fast. I'm just crashing into anything. I'm going to try to do a little trolling with these players right there. That's what you get. Dude, what just happened? His car bugged and ended up upside down. Our car is so much faster with this turbo in the game. So we'll be considering this myth true. Another myth that I've heard about Brookhaven is in the houses. Let's get ourselves a home. We have to choose this house to test this one out. Let's go inside. Walk upstairs. Because the secret of this house is found right in this bedroom. You can see that there is something a little S.U.S. beneath the bed. A hidden button. We need to click it so it will shine just like that. For now, this myth seems pretty true. Wait, why is this girl here? This girl just said that she watches my channel. That is so cute. Thank you for watching. She let me grab her. So she'll be doing the myth busting with us now. Now that we click that button, we need to go to Brookhaven's church. We need to get inside and take a look at this bell ringing rope. We'll click it. Did you see how it moved? That's exactly what we need. The girl just looks like she passed out or something while I was carrying her. Another player came up to me and said that she is also my fan. Oh. I'm so happy to hear that. Your clothes are really weird right now. 
But it's all right. I just need to get myself a truck to carry everyone, so... Let's go, guys. Get in. Now our next step is right over here. In this weird-looking arch structure. We need to find this little thing here. It's a secret item. It's like a branch or something like that. Can't really do much with it. We can only raise it up like this. Nothing more. It is a secret item because we can't find it anywhere within our inventory. Seriously, it isn't anywhere. Now... Our next myth happens to be right here in Brookhaven's hospital. We have this broken window that you possibly have already gone to see what's inside. There is a lot of weird stuff in this place. Here is just bizarre. A lot of the walls are all rusty. There's a bunch of furniture thrown to the ground. And if you take a closer look, you can find tons of smashed glass on the ground as if something big had come and broken everything. Inside this room, if we look around and pay close attention, we can find some sort of body inside of this pod. It's not confirmed what exactly is this, but possibly it may be some kind of zombie or some other experiment. There are even more smashed glass thrown around the ground. We can also find an agency paper that if you click it, it starts to burn. This is just kind of crazy. There's also this gun on the ground, we still don't know why. You can find another one of these pods in here too. But this one is empty. Possibly meaning that something got out. What kind of creature could possibly be lurking around Brookhaven now? Remember how I told you guys that the thing in the pod may be a zombie? I'm gonna show you guys why that's the theory that I believe. Basically, if we get ourselves a house in the game, just a random one, we can go inside, use our disaster menu, and activate this zombie button right here. After that, a secret mode for the house will be activated. Zombies will start appearing around our windows. Finally, one appeared. This is a zombie in Brookhaven, and I feel that they have quite a similarity to that one that we found on the pod. Its green skin can't stop reminding me of that creature we saw laying in that lab. Let's test out something as well. Let's see if we can kill zombies with that same gun we found there. All right, here is one of these zombies. Take that, undead creature. Dude, the gun literally doesn't do anything to him is as if the zombie was not even here. Let me try shooting him from the inside. It really doesn't work on it at all. Also, if we go to the disaster menu again, we can activate another option that is the ghosts. If we go around the house now, we will see some apparitions going around our home sometimes. We'll be able to look at the ghosts haunting us, but we've got to see where they are first. Normally, they appear a lot when we are in the bathroom, so let's just give it some time. Okay. I'm already hearing some very weird sounds around here. Where is that damn ghost? I can't find it anywhere. What about outside? Can it appear there? Oh, hey. Let me light this up. I just can't get a grasp on these ghosts. Holy moly. There it is. She appeared. She's flickering. Good gosh. That was so spooky. Hey, there she is again. This little girl literally appears and disappears out of nowhere. It's really creepy. It's weird that I didn't find her in the bathroom. I heard she likes it there. But it's alright. This is so funny. This girl started dancing while she was sitting and it's all bugged now. Wait! Did she become a zombie? She must have been bit by one of those at my house. Okay! So! Our next myth says that we need to go back to that laboratory. Go in here. Click the book that goes on fire and after that go back to our truck. Now we gotta go to this library. In this place we can find another secret item. To get it we gotta jump right here and click this red book. It'll make this very weird sound. Now that we got the red book, we gotta go somewhere else. Here at this motel, we gotta rent a place for us. Let it load and just check this out. The myth has just been made true. The apartment walls are now very rusty, just like that lab. It even has these crooked frames and items all thrown around the ground. Even our bathroom is looking fairly crooked and dirty. And if we sit in this chair right here, we'll find a secret message on the back of it, which is this phrase right here about the book that you can pause to read. This myth right here is confirmed true. And for sure, this is one of the most spooky myths we have. Our next myth says that we are somehow able to make a tsunami happen in Brookhaven. Is that even possible? Basically, yes. But we got two ways of going with this. First, we can click on this button on top and we'll have this option. In English, it's written flood. Sorry for those that don't speak Portuguese. Now Brookhaven will start with this very heavy climate, a real storm. After a little while, the water will start rising everywhere. You can even hear thunder all around. And of course, the whole city is just starting to flood. Just take a look at how the school is looking. I guess school's out since you can't really enter anymore. Just found this message here. 
I didn't write it or anything, so... All right, now the big question is, does Madison Lake still look as blue as before or is it flooded as well? And to answer your question, the lake is all flooded as well. Wait, what? There is a bug right here. So, if we look from above, we can see it all flooded. But if we look from below, we can no longer see the dirty water. Basically, we just found another bug in this very buggy game that at least I didn't know about. It's really weird to see that we have this layer of dirty water, but beneath it, we still have the old crystal water of the lake. Let's make the most of this moment. Our next myth is right in this boat. So basically, damn, it's too flooded here. Anyways, we gotta come to this bathroom. Inside of it, we have to continue beyond the shower and we'll find a secret passage. In here, we can find lots of hidden guns, golden bars, money, and even explosives. Oh wow, why did someone hide this inside this boat? I don't even wanna know. And on this boat, there is even one more secret that you probably didn't know about. First off, we'll need one item from our inventory, our trusty old bed. We gotta swim beneath the boat and place our bed right up against here and we have to lay down on it. Let me see if I'm able to do it all right. So, now that I'm lying down on the bed, we can have a closer look inside the boat. Right here we have a secret message that most people for sure haven't seen in Brookhaven. It's written Wolfpack was here seriously. I don't know if you guys knew about this. I've only discovered a little while ago. For those that don't know, Wolfpack is the founder of Brookhaven. He is the creator of all of this. So of course he made a little Easter egg for all of us to find with his name on it. Now, I need to show you guys the other method to make our tsunami in this game. So, inside of Roblox there is a map that shows you how Brookhaven would look if some disaster like a tsunami had happened to it. And by coincidence we just found a shirt just like mine, only that it's purple, very cool. Let me see if I can take it. Damn, I really wanted that shirt. Well, it's telling me to jump, so let's go. Guys, just look at all this. I am basically right now in Brookhaven, but of course, a little different. Since we are underwater, someone out of nowhere spawned a beach ball. Okay, I'm trying to keep myself on top, but this guy keeps pushing me. Just look at all this, guys. This is Brookhaven if it all had been flooded by a tsunami. It's so bizarre to see this because it's really weird to see all of these structures full of water. And by what it looks like, this is an old map since this auto shop is in its old place. It is now somewhere else in the game. Let's see if I'm able to drive this beach car here. Sadly, we aren't able to get into this car at least. We'll try the other ones, but we don't seem to have any luck. But just look at this car here. It's literally on fire while it's underwater. I never thought that I would see something weird like this inside Brookhaven. We have a bus full of water some cars scattered around and this ball that just seems very out of place. And right here is where Madison Lake would have been. Wait, what happened to the boat? Did he flood or is it somewhere else? Let's look down here. Oh, we just found that same bug from before. We have two layers of water, one up here and one down here. Let's swim through the layers. Go down this one end. What? I can just walk on the bottom one? I can actually just walk around here. Basically, the water just works up in here and in the bottom of it, we just have empty space to walk in. I also found this little boat here. Let me see if we can use it in any way. Hey, it works. Never have I ever seen a weird boat that rotated things like that, but that's okay. Guys, a bug just occurred that made me invisible. I'm not sure how that even happened, but now I'm just walking around the game while invisible. Oh, okay. I guess I fell onto the ground and died? I don't even know how that happened. Just look at what just happened to my body. Guys, take a look at this very SUS building. I'm trying to remember what it looks like. I was just swimming around and ended up finding these ugly little noob guys right here. There seem to be two of them with their arms just like that. I can even push them if I want. But they are just NPCs. It's okay. Okay, I'm going to be fair. They are not that ugly. Look at their faces. Look at this cute little noob face. No one can resist it. 